Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and today we're taking a look at an asset in the Unity Asset Store called Low Poly Survival Kit. Uh, obviously, it does say it is uh, for VR and mobile, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it is only for those. Obviously, you can use this for pretty much anything in Unity. So let's take a look. It comes with a demo scene, and the demo scene is very nice, actually. It's actually really well put together because it gives a very good representation of what you could do with this kit. So, quality, it's low poly, and I do like low poly, but the quality overall is really, really nice. There is uh, some post-processing on here already. It comes with a post-processing profile. It's always good to see. Uh, so if I press play, we can have a bit of an animation with the camera as well, just to kind of see a little bit more to this. Yeah, quality is really, really nice. For low poly, it's really, really nice. Quantity. Quantity is where this pack really shines. There is a lot to this pack. There is just a mind-boggling amount of content for this pack. In fact, there's so much you could quite literally create an entire game based on the amount of content in this pack. I mean, look, just this simple animation itself, there's just little things here and there. I mean, look at all these tools on the table here, various different types, even like a couple of mushrooms in the ground, the plants, the trees, the grass, the buildings, everything. There is a lot here. So in saying that, I don't think we can really count anything as extras in a pack like this because it does say it is, you know, a kit. So you'd expect a fair amount of content here. So nothing really in the way of extras unless you want to count the post-processing profile as uh, an extra. But other than that, I'd say uh, the quantity more than amounts for anything. Uh, obviously... Customizable, yes, it is customizable. You can do a lot of different things. I mean, at the moment, it's kind of a very somber and uh, evening kind of feel, but that's mainly driven by the post processing. If we turn that off, it gives you kind of a maybe a morning or a very early evening kind of feel, but then you know, you can always just change the post processing profile, do whatever you need to to make it look however you want it to look. So, something like this, you know completely different and obviously customizable means that you could change various aspects of it if you wanted to create these trees to be i don't know some kind of alien trees obviously you would change this uh, everything is within uh, its own prefab so you would need to kind of extract and do whatever you need to first um, you just need to unpack it but other than that, yeah, you're free to basically do whatever you want with this. Customize it to whatever degree you would like. Folders, all nice and neatly laid out. Everything is easy to find. I always like that. Uh, scenes there, you know, it's, it's all good. So there are some assets where folders are just a mess. And that really does... It is a shame. So it is good to see such neat folders. I mean, going back to quantity, look at all... Asset. Look at this. It's, it's amazing. An amazing amount of assets, especially considering it's free as of right now. However, remember, assets do change price from time to time. They go up, they go down. So if you stumble across this and you find it not to be free, you know, just keep that in mind. It may end up free at some other point. Uh, but yeah, right now it is free and it is less than five megabytes. That is an amazing size. So you can really see how it's geared towards something like mobile in this case, because it is a very low size, obviously because it is low poly. But I generally, I, I really like how this looks. Um, it's just, it, it's really, really nice. And there's just something about low poly that I really like. And we're inside the building here just to see a little bit extra. Just look at it. It's, it's really, really nice. So I can see this being very useful for various different games, not just a survival game, as it suggests, uh, but, you know, some kind of open world. And even if you don't want this entire pack, there's probably something in here which you may find useful, whether it's an axe, whether it's a, a mushroom, whether it's even the post-processing profile, I guess. There's something that you probably would find useful. So as you guys know, I don't rate assets, I either recommend them or I don't. And to be quite honest, I think this is really, really, a really, really good pack. If you're new to Unity and you want to just try a couple of things, this pack 
I cannot recommend it enough. It is a really nice pack for you to kind of explore Unity with, play around with, create a demo of something you want to use. There's so much here that you can genuinely, genuinely really use this pack to the most of its ability. And if you want to make it kind of less low poly, you could even add your own textures in if you want to. So yes, I'd recommend this asset package. It's a really, really nice package and there's so much to see and do in it. It's a really, really good package. So guys, have you used this uh, yourself? If you have, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. And if you've got an asset on the asset store, let me know as well, because I'd love to check it out and possibly review it. And finally, guys, don't forget, click that subscribe button and click the bell icon as well to stay up to date with everything I upload on video game development on my channel, because there's always loads to see, loads to learn and loads to do. Guys, thank you very much for watching.